Hey, this is Trevor Paulson from Adobe Analytics Product Management. And today I'm going to show you an exciting new feature we've put into data views in customer journey analytics called Dimension Substrings. In Dimension Substrings, I can basically take any value that I have in a dimension and take bits and pieces of it out and create entirely new dimensions. To start, let's look at an example that I have here of a URL report. These URLs are a little messy, but sometimes they contain information that is a little helpful to me. For example, if I filter this down to a specific query string parameter, you can see there's valuable information in here about different query strings that users have interacted with when they were coming to my website. The problem is it's mixed in with a bunch of other stuff in my URL report. So to fix this or make it more useful, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dimension substring to actually extract just the pieces I care about into a brand new dimension. To do that, I'm going to edit my data view. First, by taking the URL dimension and duplicating it, I can create a brand new dimension that has the settings I want. Scrolling down, I can now see the substring option. And by turning it on, I'm going to use a special new method called URL parse. The URL parse method allows me to select from a bunch of different options. I can extract the protocol, the host, the path, or the query string value like I want today. By simply typing in QSP as my query string parameter, I can isolate only those URLs that have a matching query string parameter that I want to use for this dimension. Now all I have to do is add my new marketing campaign dimension to my report. By dragging and dropping it into my table, you can see it's pulled out only those query string parameters that matched my QSP code. This gives me a fresh dimension with only those values that I care about. Awesome. In this next example, I'm going to show you how you can use dimension substring to clean up a messy page name report. Here in my page name report, you can see I've got this little .aspx on every single line item, which is a little annoying and kind of confusing to my users. Dimension substrings actually allows me to go in and edit these values, so I can remove that .aspx if I want to. By editing the data view, searching for the page name dimension, selecting it, scrolling down, selecting substring, I can turn on substring and use the from the left method by starting from the beginning of the string and ending at a specific string match, in this case .aspx, I can remove that value for good. By hitting save and closing my settings, coming back to my report, you can see magically it's gone and I didn't even have to change my implementation. In my next example, I'm going to show you how you can use the delimiter function of substrings to take values and split them apart with a delimiter. In this example, you can see I have a dimension containing a survey question and answer combination with a pipe separating the two. For my use case, I want to know just the questions and then the answers associated with just those questions without seeing every single combination in a single report. To do that, I'm going to create a brand new dimension of just the survey question. By once again editing my data view, I can create a brand new dimension from my survey question and answer dimension. By duplicating this dimension, then scrolling down to my substring settings, turning them on, selecting delimiter, I can set my delimiter to the pipe character. And I'll take the first value from that split set of characters. Now I'll hit save and then close. Now I can find my new survey question dimension and drag it into my table. Magically, you can see that we've separated out just the question in that dimension, removing all of the answers. But now, what if I want to see the answers associated with each individual question? Well, lucky for you, I've already set that up by just picking the second delimited field in a brand new dimension. By breaking down the question and the answer, I now get a much cleaner report, showing me more useful information at a less granular detail than I had before. In my next example, I'm going to show you a more advanced way of using dimension substrings. In this case, you can see I have a dimension recording all of my A-B test variations. But you can see there's a little trickiness to it. 
there's a bunch of variations in each and every line item based on whatever the user saw. So they might be part of a home page landing test, and they might also be part of a checkout flow test. I want to isolate these into independent line items and just one test at a time. So let's dive in. Let's create a brand new test variation dimension by selecting substring, picking delimiter, and using the convert to array function with the delimiter as a comma. By finding a new dimension that has this setting applied, I can drag and drop it into a new table, and you can see we've actually created line items for each of the comma delimited fields. Basically, converting that string into an array of strings on the fly. But there's still a problem. You can see it now has a mixture of all of my different testing variations all at once. Well, using dimension substrings with a combination of other rules allows me to then isolate further just what I want. By setting include exclude values to only include values that have the home page text, I can now isolate the dimension to just those values that I care about. On top of that, it runs after the substring, so I can now have two rules back to back. By dragging in this third dimension, I can now isolate my report to just the home page landing test, and I've extracted that out of my delimited list of test variations I had before. It's amazing! In this last example, I'm going to show you something really exciting. You can use regular expressions as part of your dimension substrings. In this case, I've got a tracking code that's super duper messy and super duper long. I only care about a little piece of that. You can see I've got it in here, the piece I care about, and it's actually surrounded by dollar signs. To extract it, let's create a regular expression rule. By selecting the regular expression method and creating a regular expression that isolates everything I want between two dollar signs, I can now have exactly what I need. Dimension substrings in customer journey analytics really lets you take your data to the next level.